park down in the little village of Bors today, about six or seven miles away from the more famous Banner Castle. We're going to see the remains of a castle that was built in the mid 1100s. We're going to see a grade two listed church built in the 12th century and the remains of a, an old Roman fort. Not forgetting a nice little river walk and a waterfall as well. It sounds very, very good. Why not come along with us and see if it is? We've got a nice free car park. Maybe see the beast parked over there. And just as I say that, the sun comes out as well. All boards well for a good walk. So straight out of the car park and straight up the main road. So we've had a four minute walk up the main street. And already we can see the 12th century church of St Giles. Oh, what a fabulous place that looks. Yeah, hey, let's see if we can get inside. It's always good to see that we remember our veterans. As the church is open today. Fabulous, fabulous stained glass window. And it looks like the old church bells there. A very old clock dating back from 1897. I am so grateful that place like this are still left open so you can come in and take a quiet minute. Well, what an absolutely fabulous start to the day. I've got the shot of my life there. Eh? Obviously the clock striking 12 o'clock. So St Giles' Church built in the 12th century. And what an absolutely magnificent church it is. So from St Giles's Church, it is just a few yards and this is our way down to the castle. But another one of those places right on your doorstep and I've never ever been before. So the castle itself was built in 1170 by King Henry II purely as a defensive structure because it was sat in a prime location and able to defend the very very important Stanmore Pass route which stretched along the old Roman road across the Pennines. Now the old Roman road is nowadays more commonly known as the A66, a road I know very, very well. We're literally about a quarter of a mile away from the A66. So that old Roman road was the gateway to the Pennines, a very, very strategic point here, an important point to defend. So previously, the Romans also uh, had a fort here in AD 74 which was called lavatory, meaning riverbed. And they had exactly the same idea. Very, very important pass. So as well as building the fort here at Bose, they also had one over at Carlisle and also down at York. Either one could reinforce the other in times of siege. And a prime example of that was in 1173 when King William the Lion of Scotland came down with a force and besieged Bose Castle and caused quite a bit of damage until a relief force led by the Archbishop of York 
came and sent the Scots Scotland back across Hadrian's Wall. So back in medieval times there would have been an outer layer of defence going all the way around there and if called for the troops could retreat over what we're going to see of the moat and then back in the final defence the actual keep which looks very very impressive indeed final line of defence an archer up there shooting arrows down to any invaders and look at the thickness of them walls unbelievable and in 1206 King John of England actually stopped here at Bose Castle it's things like that that absolutely blow my mind I love reading about history I enjoy watching things on television about history but it's only when you're here you can put your hands on a wall and think that hundreds and hundreds of years ago King John of England could have been stood in the exact same place and put his hand on the exact same wall absolutely fabulous unfortunately we're not allowed to get up any further I know one person who would love to come here, my uh, grandson Jesse Lee Medalman. He loves running around outdoors and this would be a perfect place to bring him because as well as the castle, we're going to later on have a walk down beside the river, riverside and also across the fields down to the waterfall. But in 1340, the castle had fallen into disrepair. The outer walls of the castle uh, had been dismantled and funny enough, in Bose itself, there's quite a few stone houses. I wonder where the stone came from. And if walls could talk, the things over the years, these walls must have seen. But if you can use your imagination and think back to what this must have looked like all those hundreds of years ago, on three floors, the people that were in here, the things that took place here, and absolutely free to come down and visit. I didn't intend to answer another couple of questions today, but instead, if you're watching this, well, if anybody's watching this, we will actually be down over the Lake District and because uh, we've booked a night away at the Ullswater Hotel down in Glen Ridden. Mrs. Metalman has not had the best start of the year. She's had a load of invasive tests done which thankfully have all come back clear. Apart from the fact she's got to have a gluten-free diet now for the rest of her life. I wanted to take her away for a night. I will be doing a full review while I'm down there of the Ullswater Hotel, of the room, of the staff, the hotel and the food and see if that multi-million pound refurbishment has been well worth the money. Anyway, if you're interested in that, keep an eye out for it. Well, we have been promised a 0% chance of rain day today, thank goodness. But I'll tell you something, that wind is cold. Maybe it's not the best day to put my shorts back on again. A long and complicated story, which I'm not gonna bore you with, but today I took possession of a drone. And it's the DJI 2 Mini SE. So look out for a little bit of drone footage in the future as well. The old Roman fort, used to be down here just down towards the west of the castle but just imagine fighting your way up here the outskirts of the castle getting through there and then coming up fighting your way up here to find a moat that you've got to get across and if you do get across that eventually get through them thick walls of the castle constantly being shot out by arrows spears boiling hot oil not much of a life being a foot soldier put on a, 
a nice warm summer's day. What a nice place to come with a family. The kids having a bit of run about, having a bit of a climb up there, run around the castle, over down to the river, down to see the waterfall. What a great Sunday afternoon out of the family. Last minute decision to come out. I think we're heading this way. Down there we should see a little waterfall mill force, which runs along the river Greta. Anyway, let's find out. So we just come over the little stile there, next to the wall. Well, I drop down from there, and uh, there looks like a nice low path down there, which I have a feeling I maybe should have come down. Uh, but either way, we've managed to get down. And this is a uh, new force. But while I'm here, I'm just going to spend a bit of time enjoying this. How oh, nice to see the first signs of spring. I'm going to head back a different way. Instead of going back through Barnet Castle like I came, I'm going to head towards Scotch Corner and I'm going to go back through Darlington because I saw on the news this morning there's a fish and chip shop in Darlington that just been voted the second best in the whole of the UK and that can only mean one thing yes 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 well if you enjoyed the video really would appreciate a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this if you want to see more hiking if you want to see more climbing wayne rights over the lake district click on the subscribe button and you'll see all of those things i'll tell you something won't be too long before i'm back out again cheers